Xiaomi and Google can still work together. Today's announcement about the US government adding Xiaomi to the list of banned for foreign investment companies is not currently going to be affecting Xiaomi and Google's relationship. Let's clear that right up now. Hey guys, my name is Mitchell. Today, I wanna to talk about a few things. First, what the US government announced today in regards to the ban of Xiaomi, how this could affect Xiaomi devices moving forward, and then what my thoughts. If you guys wanna reach out to me, Twitter is the best place. If you have questions, drop them in the comments and let's just begin. Now today, the US government added Xiaomi to its list of companies that US investors are banned from investing in, along with a Chinese military aircraft manufacturer. Now these two things might seem extreme, but they kind of make sense. First, the US government announced today that foreign investors have one year to sell their assets off in Xiaomi essentially, and no longer be invested within Xiaomi. So big corporate hedge funds or US based capital, people that like to invest large sums of money in foreign companies can now no longer do that with Xiaomi. Now the US government's reason for doing that is strong ties between Xiaomi and the Chinese Communist Party and Chinese military. Now, what does this mean in regards to doing business with Google? Well, unless Google is heavily invested within Xiaomi, which I am unaware of, this isn't going to have a big effect. This isn't exactly doing business or using intellectual property rights in the same capacity that we saw with the Huawei and Google ban. That said, this could be a stepping stone to a bigger ban from the US government, but right now Xiaomi seems to be safe from that ban and being able to still use Google services as well as Android. Now, why did this happen? Why are US investors no longer able to invest in Xiaomi? Well, the US government has found ties between Xiaomi and the Chinese Communist Party and the Chinese military. Now, this isn't that big of a surprise because as I talked about in a video a long time ago, uh, essentially large corporations or large businesses in China need to have some kind of government entity or government sector within that company, meaning within the organization of Xiaomi, within their corporate structure, there has to be people working with the Chinese Communist Party and the Chinese government within Xiaomi. It's a socialist communist country, China. And because of that, the Chinese government wants to have control within these companies as com uh, compared to how it is in America, where the government regulates companies externally and has auditors and things like that. In China, there are government entities actually working within that company, working with that company. And so because of that, the US government has found that uh, businesses that do telecom to be at national security risk potentially for US consumers because there's nothing that is keeping Xiaomi, Huawei from working on the behalf of the Chinese communist government. So essentially, the way the US government sees what's happening right now is that these companies are an extension of the Chinese Communist Party, of the Chinese military, and thus they should be restricted or we shouldn't be doing business with them or we should be changing the way we do business with them. And this doesn't mean that Xiaomi is going to be affected in regards to the Google services side of things. It just means that US investors like myself, I could, I would technically not be allowed to buy Xiaomi stock, let's say, um, or I have a year to sell off Xiaomi stock, according to this new ban, which doesn't really affect uh, me or it doesn't really affect the majority of people, but it does affect US investors. Now, what do I necessarily think about this ban? What do I think about the US government taking action against Xiaomi? Well. I think this is going to surprise a lot of people, but I don't think that this is necessarily a negative thing. But let me explain. 
and it's not because I'm pro-Trump. I just want to get that out of the way. I, I'm, I'm very ambivalent. I don't, I don't care about Trump unless it's a huge deal. Sorry for the bad impersonation. But essentially what we have in China is a very much protectionist government, protectionist economy. Meaning that if I want to import Mercedes from Europe into China, there are huge taxes and tariffs uh, that the Chinese government puts on uh, foreign imported products into China to essentially create more growth. And there's also a lot of US companies that are banned from doing business in China, such as Google. So the Chinese government is already doing things that are more extreme than what the US government is doing. All the US government is doing is saying that we think that this is a security risk and thus we don't want you investing in them. I think that because China is already doing this and China has been doing this for so long, it doesn't necessarily make international news. It doesn't make international headlines because that's the way it's been for so long. China's already doing this. So there isn't necessarily a reason why the US shouldn't do this. I really don't like to talk about this stuff necessarily because in my opinion, a lot of tech, a lot of intellectual property exchange of ideas should just be free flowing. Unfortunately, for the last 20, 30 years, it's been China that has been exporting a lot of their intellectual property and a lot of their stuff outside of China. And they haven't really been open to allowing US business, allowing international business to, to work inside of China. So this is trying to kind of equal or level the playing field between China and the US. I don't see this necessarily affecting Xiaomi right now, although in the future it might. Um, and more importantly, would this keep you from buying a Xiaomi device? For me personally, I'm still gonna be buying Xiaomi devices. Uh, I, I don't really see an issue with this. That may be because of how I understand what the government's doing living here in Vietnam because this is something that the Vietnamese government does a lot of. But at the end of the day, I just want to see Xiaomi and Google being able to continue to work together in regards to Android, in regards to Google Play services, because right now in regards to Android manufacturers providing great value with Google services, Xiaomi and BBK are right up neck and neck. And we're seeing a lot of great devices coming out right now. Let me know what you guys think. Hit me up on Twitter. Peace.